cover a few of the JavaScript math functions. The first function we're going to cover is math.random. You'll see here down in my function, my get random number function, I am creating a variable named random number and I'm setting that equal to math.random. This right here is a built-in JavaScript function that generates a random number between 0 and 1 but less than 1. So it will actually output a decimal number and it tends to be pretty long. So I have a button up here that's going to call this random get random number function and then display that random number on my screen. Let's test this so you can see how it looks. Okay, I'm going to click this button and you'll see how it generates this long decimal point random number. Let me run it again so you can see how it, it truly is generating a random number. Okay, well, it's not always useful generating a random number that's less than one. So if we want to generate a random number, for example, between zero and 10, we can simply multiply our random number by 10. And let's see how that outputs. Okay, you'll see now that I'm generating random numbers that are less than 10, 0 to 10. But that's still giving us this long decimal point number, and that again is not always useful. If we want to convert this to a whole number, we can use another built in JavaScript function called math.floor which will round our number down, down. If we want to round our number up, we can use math.seal. So let's actually create a second variable called rounded number. And what we're going to do here is we are then going to apply the math.floor to our random number variable. So you would write out math.floor. This is a built-in JavaScript function like that. So you'll see we're doing that and we'll, we're setting that math.floor on our random number output. And then let's change our display to actually show our rounded number that we applied the floor to. Save it. Okay, so now you see that it's generating a random number between 0 and 10, but less than 10 because we're rounding it down. If we want to round the number up, we can attach the math.seal to it. And let's test that and see how that looks. Okay, so we've, we got a 10 now because it's rounding that number up, which will give us the value of 0 to 10 as a whole number. And that's the basics of math.random, math.floor, and math.seal. It may be a little bit confusing. It's just going to take a little bit of practice. So I would suggest that you, you use these functions in your code and play around with them to get a real, a real good feel for how they work.